Welcome to this introduction movie on FM Studio Pro's new prediction feature. FM Studio can now predict what fields and layouts you'll be using from your database as you're going from page to page. So in this video I'll demonstrate how the new prediction engine works and how you can cut your development time in half. Let's create a quick search form and results page to show the found records and a table. Here's my database. It's the example database that comes with uh, FileMaker Server and all the layouts and such. I'm going to be using products and in this case each product has a title, author's name, publisher, etc. And let me go ahead and go to the data view to show you what data we're going to be working with. And here uh, is all the data and you can see the title includes states, their status, publishers, and then to the far right, a huge description field. It's the sample database that comes with, with FileMaker Server. Okay, so now that you've seen the data, let's go ahead and create a search form that lets us search by author, title, and publisher. And to do this, we're going to use the FM Studio wizard and then use Form Builder. And this is the new Form Builder that's in FM Studio Pro. It's a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and choose my layout. And then action. The action page, this is the page that's going to display all the search results. So search underscore results.php. And next, I'm going to go ahead and leave the default as get. When you're doing a search, always leave it as get. And then I'm just going to leave the default also for the button as search. And that's the text that will display on the button. So next, I'm going to add three fields. I'm going to add title, status, and publisher. These are the fields I'm going to search on. And when I hit OK, a display is going to show. And this is asking if it would like a search underscore results page created since we don't have one. I would do this because a lot of us have problems spelling and this creates the page for you so there's no spelling errors and you know the page is there. So here we go. We've got a form uh, search on the search results page and so let's go ahead and go back to the index page. I'm going to save that page and then I'm going to go ahead and push it to my server because I'm done with this page. So when working with a, a remote server like I'm doing here on fmgateway.com, that's where the database is, it's a good idea to, to always push the file there and you can do that right within Dreamweaver. So back on the search results page, go ahead and type search results. Now on the search results page, I needed to find my FileMaker records. And I'm going to do this by filling in whatever data was filled in for the title, author, or the publisher. So if you've got a lot of fields, this could take a long time to select. So with the new FM Studio predictor, all you need to do is go under your find record set and it's magically all filled out for you. There's all the information and if you go into the find criteria, you're going to see also that the title, uh, stats, and the uh, publisher, everything is already filled in. So that's already done. It's all pre-populated and you can customize this further if you need to. So one other thing that I should mention, um, if you go over here and you go into your bindings, I could pretty much drag and drop any of these fields onto my page. However, I'm going to display multiple records, so that's not ideal for me for this situation. So I'm going to go ahead and create a dynamic table because it allows me to display multiple records. So let's go ahead and once again under our wizards, we'll choose dynamic table and I'll name it results and I'm going to leave a lot of the defaults as the same. You can certainly change your table around any way that you'd like. And let's go ahead and fill in some information here. I'm going to be choosing one more field than I had in the search results. So I'll add title, authors, status, and publisher. And I'm going to quickly edit the title here. All right, and then press OK. And the page is complete. So make sure that you save this page and I'm going to also push this one to my server real quickly. So a quick recap, we went from an index page to a search results page 
and populated a simple form and then we went to search results and now I also added a record set and the record set was already pre-populated as you can see and then I created my results table using a dynamic table. So let's go ahead and view this in Firefox and there we go there's our page under title I'm going to go ahead and search for all the states that begin with an A. So that's simply a wildcard search, so just A with a little asterisk and then hit search. And you can see all the results, that was pretty fast. All the results up here, um, I do see an A and B at the bottom and that's, that's fine. That was test data that I had in my database, that's all that is. So as you can see in about five minutes, I created a custom search page and search results page and I only had to select my fields once. So we've added a lot more uh, similar optimizations to FM Studio Pro. Thank you so much for watching.